What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this one today I'm just going to talk about how you can work out some quantities and um, quantities especially relating to road construction. So if I just open up the site plan, this tidied up site plan we made in a, a previous video, I'm just going to show you how you can work out quantities for what's needed to actually construct this road here. I'm just going to focus on road 5, road 6 and road 6th, so all these roads here. So I'm going to show you how to work out how much type 1 you need as in sub base and um, how much tarmac you need how to work out how many curbs you need or temporary brick on edge I'm also going to show you how much uh, concrete you need to work out for your curb brace going all the way around so I'll just have a quick look at the road construction so if we just go to um, if we just go to road construction detail rotate 90 degrees So this is what our road looks like. So it's so it's made up of a uh, type one sub base, then it goes to base course which is seventy mil thick, then it goes to binder which is fifty mil thick, and this is usually where we stop at binder level. But the surface courses are twenty five mil thick, and we uh, we worked this out in a previous video. So I'll just show you where we worked this out. Um, called it road info. So we did this in previous video. This was just to work out dips and other useful and how to work out a traveller. So check that out, I'll link that in the description. So basically it works like this, so the, the sub base layer is split up into two layers. So I'm just going to show you in this video how to work out how much type 1 this will take, these roads, in tonnage, how much tonnage um, the tarmac will take as well. So let's get into it. So we'll just go back to our site plan. So first thing we need to do is just work out an area. I'll show you how to do this in a previous video, so I'm just going to whiz along and draw a polyline around here and just work out the area for these two. And if you remember, as we said in the previous video, it changes construction at this ramp detail here. So this side is a trad traditional construction, and this side is a block paved muse construction. So I'm just going to quickly work out the areas and I'll speed this bit, bit up. Okay guys, so now we've got the area worked out, it's just time to work out how much, um, we'll just start off with type 1 and how much type 1 we're going to need. So, um, as I said before, so the type 1 split up into two layers almost. So the first layer is um, down here underneath the curb brace and the second layer is above the curb brace. As you can see the first layer actually extends underneath the curb brace so the curb brace is something to sit onto. And this usually, as a rule of thumb, extends 500mm past the face of curb. So um, to work that out, you just need to offset this by 500 mil. So that's why we draw um, a polyline line because it's easy to do that. So just type in offset 0.5, select object, polyline, and extend it out. So as you can see, it's offset about 500 mil, and I'll do the same for this one. Pull line, offset about 500 mil. Okay, so now it's just time to work out the area of these. Area object. Area for that is 369460. So I'm just going to write that down. I made a Word document. Road 5, area needed 469460. I'll just check that. 469460, yep. It's, it's actually a bit less because it's offset this way as well, so I'm just going to deduct that area. So I just want to deduct this little bit here. I'm 
going to deduct 3.250. Six point two one. So that's meters squared to work out volume. Therefore, volume will equal. So to work out volume, it's just your square meterage times by um, your thickness. So thickness will be 205, which we worked out in another video. So first layer thickness, 205. will be 4, so I've just opened calculator again. 4, so 6.210 times by 0. 205 that'll give me a volume of 95.573 meters cubed okay so therefore tonnage for first layer will equal all right so to work out the tonnage it's um, it's quite simple you just times um, times your volume by the bulk density so I know the bulk density of this material because I want to look at certificates and um, if I just go to certificates here the density is 2.04 megatons per meters cubed and uh, a megaton is equal to I mean 2.04 megagrams per meters cubed and a megagram per meters cubed is equal to a ton. Okay, so I've got it here, so this is just a ton here, so one ton equals 1,000 kilogram, and 1,000 kilogram is a megaton. So, um, so what this is saying here really is um, the density of this um, is 2.0 mega, megagram per meters cubed, which, so we just times our volume by this number to get it into tonnage. So 2.04, so that'd be 95.573 times by 2.04, which will equal, so that's your tonnage, 194.969, ton. Now time to work out a second layer for road 5. Work out a second layer, same process, it's just area and area object. So one area of this part here, pull, pull line, yep. So yeah, it's just the area of that, which was, it tells us here, 301.128. So I've just typed uh, the area in, which was 301.128. So therefore, the volume. Volume equal. So to work out volume, it's just uh, just your area times your thickness, and we know our thickness because we worked it out. So the second layer is 185 millimeters. 185 millimeters. So let's go back to this. 301.128 times by 0.185 will equal 55.708. Meters cubed. And therefore, tonnage for second layer will equal fifty-five point seven zero eight meters times by two point zero four, which will equal. So just times this by 2.04, which will 
one one three six four five. One three point six four five tons. I like that, made that bold. Total for type one will equal uh, just add these two up. One nine four point nine six nine plus one one three point six four five. 308614 308614 Done Okay, so that's how you work out uh, amount of type 1 you need for this road So we know that from here And um, I'll do the same for this road, same process I'll just whiz through that quickly, so it's just area Alright guys, so I've got the first layer worked out Now I'm just going to work out the second layer Really quickly, Just it's just area Object, second layer, this one, yep, bottom line, which is 476049. Then it's just times by the thickness, which was 175. Which gives us an answer of 83.308 and then 83.308 times by the density to work out the tonnage would be 169 so we've worked out the tonnage needed for type 1 in um, in these two roads here um, including underneath the curb brace so I'm just going to delete these off because we don't need them anymore okay now if we just move on next thing we really want to work out is um, how much concrete the curb brace is going to take and um, we know what curb brace is because we've looked at it before curb brace is just 150 mil um, foundation for the curb should we say so let's try and work out how much curb brace how much concrete the curb brace is going to take around these two roads so I'll split them up again I'll just do road 5 and I'll do road 6 it's the same the curb brace is the same it's a standard measurement it's um Curb base is 150 wide by usually 325 in thickness. So, and it's really easy to work out. So, all you do to work that out is you just need the perimeter. So, area, I'll just go object so you can see it. Select, no, I'll just go area, add area, object, just so you can see what I've selected. So, I'm just going to start off with this area to start off with. So, it gives us a perimeter here of 125.639. But we just need to deduct these bits because there's no curb brace here. We need to deduct this length and we need to deduct this length which is 5.5. .5. So we just need this length as well. So I'm just going to write down that. One, two, five. Okay guys, so um, so the perimeter of, um, of this here was 125.639. So I've just deducted off this length and I've just deducted off this length because there's no curb brace or anything in these two points here okay and that gives us 102.183 linear meters and to work out the curb brace it's really simple it's just if we just look at this drawing here it's just um, the width times the height times the linear meter so or, or the cross-sectional area times the linear meter ridge so I'll just quickly type this out here <laughs> Okay, so therefore concrete needed for this for this uh, for this curb brace pour around here will be four point nine eight one, which is just cross sectional area times the length. Okay, now to work out what bricks or curbs need. I said bricks because depending on where you are in the project, you might just put um a temporary brick on edging rather than a curb because curbs get destroyed really easily. So um, I'll show I've got a picture here. So if you put curbs in during the construction progress process, they just get knocked out and damaged really easily. So what we tend to do or what what we do at this stage is just put a temporary retainer in which just might be a brick. But it's really easy to work curbs out because it's just uh, just a standard length. 
So we know the linear meterage is 102.183. I mean, just I mean, you just divide this by um, by a brick length. So a brick is 215 millimeters is a brick size. So if you just look at 215 millimeters. So you just divide this by 0 0.215, which will tell you how many bricks you need. So we need 475.269 bricks. So I'm just going to round it up to 276 bricks. Okay, so I'll just do the same for road 6 really quickly, same method. Okay, so for road six and road sixty H, I just worked out the same again. So the so the perimeter was the perimeter was uh, one seven nine point two three five. I minus out five point five because that was this point here, this crossing here, and um, that gave me a linear linear meterage. From a linear meterage, I just time this by the cross sectional area of a curb brace, which was one hundred fifty mil by three hundred twenty five mil. That told me how many meters of concrete I'm going to need, and I worked out how many bricks I'm going to need, or yeah, how many bricks I'm going to need for that by just dividing it by the length of a brick, which is 215 millimeters. So I need 809 bricks. Okay, so now at this point, we've worked out how much stone we're going to need, how much type 1 we're going to need, we've worked out how much concrete we're going to need for those curb brace, we've worked out how many bricks we're going to need. So now we just need to jump into tarmac and how we're going to work how much tarmac. So I'll kick off with road 5. Alright, the tarmac split up into three layers. So I'm going to start off with base. So the base course is in road five. The base course is 70 mil thick. Okay. So 70 millimeter thick. 70 millimeter. And it's important to look what kind of material the base course is. So I'm just going to go to as road construction detail. Rotate we'll that round. Okay, so it's AC32 dense base 100 to 125 pen and it's a limestone. Okay, so to work out how much um, how much tonnage you're going to need of um, tarmac, um, you use something called a spread rate. So I did have one open here. So yeah, so this is just um, just a spread rate approximation rate of spread. So let's say it was 70 mil thick, so we'll just highlight this row here. And we know it's an AC dense surface base and binder course. So we have a spread rate somewhere between five and six. It's important to um, depending where you get your your tarmac from or your asphalt from, it might be worth asking that actual quarry what kind of spread rates they've got because it might be a bit more precise this because this is quite a big range. So I'm just gonna go for 5.5 .5 on this one. So a 70 mil thickness. I'm just going to go 5.5. So I'll just go back to our sheet here. Spread rate of 5.5. Therefore, tonnage will equal. So to work out our actual tonnage, it's just a square. It's just a square meterage, which is 113.465. No, sorry. To actually work out the tonnage, it's just a square meter ridge, which is 301.128. 301.128 divided by 5.5, which will equal 54.750 tons. Okay, now it's just to work out the binder. So I'm just going to go back to my road constructional detail. So Binder course is 50 mil thick, AC20 dense binder course, but this is in hard stone this time. So I'm just gonna go back to yep, 50 mil binder. So I'm just gonna go back to um, back to this uh, the spread rate thing. So uh, 50 mil, and it's AC dense surface base and binder course. So it's between seven and nine. So I'll just have to take a take a guess and go with eight. So I'll just put that into here. Okay, so that brings us to a total of 37.641 for binder. I'm just going to quickly do the same for um, 
for 06 and 60H. Um, okay, and it, it's just important to know about this is where the construction changes. So it goes it's from a 70mm base to a 50mm binder. And on road 6 and 60H, it's just binder. It's just got a binder course, and um, you can see that from the road construction detail here. So you go to typical news construction, it's just uh, type 1 binder and then um, sand and block paving. So just need to work out the binder on this. Let's go binder equals square meter ridge which is 476049 476.049 spread rate that's good spread rate is equal to so it's 50 mil so I'll use what I used before which was 8 Spread rate A. Therefore, tonnage will equal 476.049 divided by 8 will equal 59.506 tons. Okay guys, I just really want just to summarize this video. So um these are the quantities we worked out for road for road so this is road five, road six and road six TH. So what we worked out today was how much type one we're gonna need, which is six hundred and sixty eight point two four three tons. Concrete needed thirteen point four five one meters. We're gonna need one thousand two hundred and eighty five bricks. And the total amount of base we're going to need, base cost, tarmac or asphalt, is 54.750 tonnes. And binder is going to be 97.147 tonnes. So yeah, so that's how you just work out some quantities just off a drawing like this. And as an engineer, this is going to be one of your responsibilities to do this. So Okay, thanks guys. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe.